Hey, soul survivors, we are going to talk about histrionic personality disorder because uh, when that Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial was going on, a lot of people thought she was a narcissist, but she is actually uh, histrionic and uh, borderline personality disorder. So understanding the types of mental illness that are out there can help us understand our person. So uh, HPD, which is histrionic personality disorder, it's one of those personality disorders listed in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, known as the DSM-5. It is characterized by a pervasive pattern of excessive emotionality and attention-seeking behaviors. So people that have HPD often have a strong need for approval and they will exhibit exaggerated or even dramatic behaviors in order to gain attention from others. One of the key features of HPD, histrionic personality disorder, is the tendency to display emotions in an intense and theatrical manner. So people that have HPD, they can experience shallow, rapidly shifting emotions, and these can be easily influenced by external events or the reactions of others. These people might seek constant reassurance and validation from others, often resorting to dramatic displays of provocative behaviors to maintain the attention that they crave. A lot of times they will use their body or their looks. And another important aspect of HPD is the desire to be the center of attention. So it gets really confusing because narcissists are like that as well. Individuals with HPD can engage in attention-seeking behaviors such as dressing provocatively or engaging in theatrical gestures or speech patterns. A lot of times they might change their voice. I want to do something on Paris Hilton. She came out as saying, yeah, that wasn't my voice. It was an act. So uh, she did that for years. So I'm not saying I have to research her to see if she had HPD, but uh, they often have a strong need for admiration and may become uncomfortable when they are not the focus of attention within these social situations. And they can also exhibit a tendency to easily be influenced by others so they don't have their own sense of true self they can adopt the opinions values or attitudes of those they perceive as important or powerful and they do this in order to gain approval and maintain relationships this susceptibility to external influences can sometimes lead to difficulties in forming stable and authentic identities so relationships can be challenging for individuals with histrionic personality disorder. They may initially engage in intense and passionate relationships, often characterized by a rapid onset of intimacy. This can happen with narcissists as well. But these relationships can become unstable and volatile due to the individual's need for constant attention and validation. The pattern of seeking attention and approval can start to strain relationships and lead to a cycle of frequent conflicts and intense emotional reactions. So these people um, struggle with self-esteem issues. Their self-worth is often dependent on the approval and attention they receive from others. They can engage in excessive efforts to maintain their physical appearance or use their sexuality to gain attention. But these efforts can be undermined by a deep-seated fear of rejection or abandonment, which can further contribute to their emotional instability. So it is a complex and multifaceted disorder, but um, how to have healthier coping mechanisms. So it's good for people with HPD to do emotional regulation techniques. Some of these techniques might resonate with you if you're struggling with whatever you're struggling with. These are the techniques uh, suggested for HPD. So emotional regulation techniques. Uh, because somebody with HPD often experiences intense and rapidly shifting emotions, learning how to regulate the emotions can be ben beneficial. So this involves identifying and understanding emotions, practicing mindfulness and grounding techniques and utilizing relaxation exercises such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation. These techniques can help individuals manage overwhelming emotions and prevent impulsive or dramatic reactions. So cognitive restructuring, this involves challenging and replacing negative or distorted thoughts and beliefs with more realistic and positive ones. In the case of HPD, these people have a tendency to interpret situations in an 
in an exaggerated or attention seeking manner by recognizing these cognitive distortions and actively replacing them with more balanced thoughts. These people can develop a more grounded and accurate perspective. Also, you can utilize assertiveness training. People with HPD may struggle with setting boundaries and expressing their needs and desires in a healthy and assertive manner. Assertiveness training can teach individuals effective communication skills, such as expressing their thoughts and feelings clearly, standing up for their rights without infringing on others, and negotiating compromises. Developing assertiveness can help individuals build more balanced and fulfilling relationships. Another thing can be self-reflection, self-awareness, encouraging self-reflection and awareness is essential for people with HPD to gain insight into their pattern of behavior and underlying emotional needs. Therapy can be helpful. Individuals can explore the motives behind attention-seeking behaviors, recognizing their own triggers and vulnerabilities, and develop a deeper understanding of their emotional needs. And this self-awareness can aid in making healthier choices and managing relationships more effectively. Social skills training. People with HPD will rely on dramatic and attention-seeking strategies. Um, and they do this because they want to maintain a relationship and learning and practicing healthy social skills will be crucial for them. This type of social skills training can involve role playing, communication exercises, feedback sessions to help people develop effective ways of connecting with others, expressing themselves authentically and forming more meaningful relationships. A lot of times people, when there's something going on, they're not their true authentic self because of vulnerabilities. Also building supportive networks. When you create uh, and nurture a network of supported individuals, it can be extremely beneficial for people with the HPD. And engaging in support groups, therapy groups, or forming connections with understanding and empathetic individuals can provide validation, encouragement, and a safe space to share experiences. So while the relationships can be difficult, that's a background on HPD. Um, sometimes it helps knowing what somebody's going through if we're making a decision to either help our person or to remove ourselves from a relationship, just remember a relationship is toxic when it's toxic to you. And if it is toxic, there needs to be some changes or it can destroy who you are and your quality of life. So I hope that was helpful. People do change, but some don't have the uh, willpower to do it. And then some people, it's just too hard of a struggle. A lot of things going on in the brain. Rewiring, rewiring the brain can be painful. Um, and some of us with depression or things that we're going through, it takes some effort to heal. And I'm here to help you along the way. We do live chats and we have a great group of people. Hope to see you in live chat. Comment below if there's anything I can help you with and I'll see you in the next video.